quality service technicians are absolutely vital to our business. We have to have them to run our business and to run it successfully. So we're always on the lookout for new people that we can bring in and train and develop as our next generation of service technicians. So that's why we have invested so heavily in our technician training program in partnership uh, with the colleges at uh, OSUIT in Okamulgee, Oklahoma, and also uh, at Fort Scott Community College and the John Deere Ag Tech program uh, there at Fort Scott, Kansas. And so that is going to continue to be an area that we, that we invest in because we will always have a need for service technicians to continue to grow our business. Going to OSUIT was definitely a good experience. Uh, I learned a lot there from the mentors I had, from the teachers I had. Definitely had a lot of in-school and out-of-school experiences to help me in the field. Went to school with a lot of good guys. Uh, still keep in touch with a lot of the teachers and a lot of the guys I went to college with. We still bounce a lot of problems and ideas off of each other trying to just move forward and progress in everyday life. As you go along, you get more hands-on. That's one of my favorite things about the program is it was actually you know, 80, 85% hands-on learning. And you can't get that around this day and age. I mean, you don't find that at a lot of schools. And being able to learn while working on something is a big thing for me. I wanted to get into this industry and, and, and work with my hands. And p and you know, they help out with some of the tuition and some of the tools and stuff like that. So. I thought, well, if this is what I want to do, then I should go through this program because they're going to help me out some with it, so it wouldn't be a bad deal at all. We provide a $10,000 scholarship to students uh, that are enrolled in these programs. We also support them with laptops, with diagnostic software, and uh, allowances for them to purchase tools and build their tool set as a technician. We are a two-year uh, program. It's an internship-style program to where the students come here to school for eight weeks at a time, go through uh, uh, classroom and lab material, and then they go on internship for eight weeks at a time for a paid internship. Our program uh, goes over everything from basic electrical and hydraulics to advanced hydraulics and electrical, uh, where they work on machines and learning how to fix a bug uh, problem. Also, we go through engines and, and powertrain, air conditioning. And then at the end, we have what we call a capstone uh, class to where uh, we go over everything that might have changed in the last two years. We would learn theory, we'd hammer it away for a few days, and we'd go out in the shop, and they were both very adamant that you know, if you pulled something apart, you were able to label it, knew how to measure it, knew if it looked okay or how worn it might be. And that transitioned really well in my internships back home. I was able to jump in with a full-time technician and we were pulling stuff apart. They were able to quiz me and ask me questions that I was able to answer and apply to the real world scenario. And it worked really well going back and forth between school and work. Being able to come eight weeks on, eight weeks off, it's a short enough time that you can, you know, broaden your horizon of, you know, learning and whatnot. And you can come here, put it hands on, and you'll remember it a whole lot better. I learned a lot over there and then you get back here and you work alongside some of these other guys that have been doing it for, you know, 10, 20 years, you'll, you'll learn a lot more doing that as well. well. They did a great job at teaching basically technology and hydraulic systems, electrical systems, because everything's so involved with hydraulics and electrical now, that was just a big part of learning that. Whenever they have the opportunity to come back here and they're working with those individuals, uh, those senior techs, it gives them, you know, the opportunity to see the obstacles that, and the challenges that we face every day. It truly shows them the in, inner workings of our team. And that's one of the great things about PNK equipment is with the expertise and with the experience, not only at Blackwell, but at all of our other locations, if there's a problem that we cannot figure out, there's a good chance that another location has dealt with it and, and solved that problem. And so we've got those resources available to us to where we can show those students what it means to be part of a team and what it means, you know, when they struggle, how we overcome that. From a lot of different friends I've talked to from the different companies I've been around and worked with, I definitely do think PNK is a lot more well-rounded when it comes to treating the individual employees more in a family sense.
Whenever I went over there and we got done, I haven't ever wondered, you know, what if I did this or what if I did that. It was, it was pretty much whenever I was done, I was like, yep, that's, that was good. That's what I wanted to do. It's a family. Everybody gets along, has a great time, help each other out. And I mean, it's pretty easy to come to work every day and leave happy. They are very foundational for the future of our business because the best avenue that we have to recruit and retain technicians is to recruit them out of high school and help sponsor them through school so that they have a career that they can go into. Now they may not choose to stay as a, as a technician during their time at PNK. They could advance into sales or parts or AMS, whatever the case may be but there's just there's great opportunities there. And the foundation of our business at P&K has always been our service department operations and our ability to support customers' machines after the sale. And as we go into the future and our business continues to grow, we only anticipate that need becoming greater in the future. And so we were always going to have a need for trained service technicians.